Hi guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and today I'm here to bring you a message for anyone who's a water sign, so Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, for the week of April 13th through the 19th. Keep in mind it's a general message, so take what you feel resonates on a soul level and disregard the rest, and know that no matter what messages we have through spirit or the cards today, it's still up to you and how you integrate this. So for all my subscribers, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being here, and for anyone who's new, welcome, and if this resonates with you, please feel free at the end. Hit Hit subscribe, join the journey with me, and let me encounter your energy more often as well as help me build my channel. Be awesome to, to do this together. So I'm just going to take a moment to ask Archangel Michael to jump in to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself, this reading, and any of you who would ask for it, as well as to use me as the clearest channel possible and to deliver only the message that is for your highest good. And I would suggest as well, you do the same. So you're asking for messages of your highest good. I was just asked to clear, and this is selenite, so I was really asked to clear my energy field. Whew, so I am. There we go. I got some heart activations as well. So before I get into tarot, I was guided today to pick three decks of angel cards. So Healing with the Angels, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Gabriel. So I'm going to get three cards out, and then we'll read um, what it has to offer before the, before the tarot. So this is the Healing with the Angels, and they're all Dorian Virtue, these angel cards. What message would you have for anyone who's watching? And I tried to do this reading like a few minutes ago. I stopped it at two minutes because I could hear my kids in the background cray cray, right? Well, these are two of the cards. I only got the angel cards out, and these two was the first and the last of five cards. I think the other one was Freedom and Study, so maybe four cards. So really um, studying on something, learning, using your freedom and when you're kind of feeling like in captivity to study. What can you learn? Study your own thoughts, your behaviors. And I feel like there is a significant chance for celebration and this is including partnership and celebration within partnership as well as some of you. Um, there's major changes and spiritual celebrations. Heard upheavals as well, but this doesn't necessarily mean bad. From difficulty, there's always going to be light. You're going to have learned a lesson or gained some strength. And this is arms wide open, as well as for some of you, um, there's a kiss. Now, <laughs> understand as well, time is fluid. So we're picking up an energy, but this doesn't necessarily happen mean it's happening now. It could be something that's going to trickle in, something that has already happened past life, um, or something happening now. And I mean, some of you, you live with your soulmates, right? Some of you, um, this isn't even, that kiss is just for one of you, or some of you. But for some of you, this kind of, you know, enchanting relationship, it's a cause for celebration. So let me get messages from the Archangel Gabriel Oracle and inspiration. We get, yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action accordingly and set it into motion. For some of you as well, I feel like some of you are spiritual healers. Some of you as well, through this soulmate connection, will be learning sort of to to use this honestly as divine inspiration as a learning opportunity and let's see I want one more please spirit what is one more card that you could give me thank you and we'll take Archangel Raphael as well spirit has one card thank you one more since we went for two we might as well do it two and two we have soul made out here and two of them so this is also um divine counterparts per not a perfect connection I, I wouldn't say because no connection is ever perfect but there is divinity in this and so what you're being given is the law of attraction like attracts like and as well as this could be energetic communication telepathic communication and just something within a relationship um a spiritual relationship where you know you are I feel like as well having to be mindful of the energy that you're putting out in terms of what you're receiving as well an inner authority and diet is important here and Archangel Raphael is the healing one so dear 
Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to make positive eating and drinking choices and for reducing or eliminating any craving for health, unhealthful substances. This is definitely one of those prayers we can put out. Help me because I have been stuck in my house eating stuff I'm not supposed to. It also means one of the things you can do in this case is when we take our weekly grocery shops, don't buy the stuff that's probably not good for you. We have, as well as I heard, listen to how your body feels when you consume it. How, what is your body trying to say? As this can be a lot of things, right? Drugs, alcohol. In terms of even this is for me, this is your head. What are you feeding yourself? What are the lies you're feeding yourself? What are, you know, what are the truths you're feeding yourself? And are you nourishing your body with healthy foods, right? This is also the choices. Am I making healthy choices for myself or unhealthy choices for me? And whatever these things are doing, how is it healthy and unhealthy? Kind of seeing that in your life and being an inner authority over this as well to choose not to engage in certain activities, eat certain foods, um, speak in certain ways. It says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desire, and feelings. This is so important because the detox part, that's also about this idea of the law of attraction and vibration meets vibration. What are you putting out? What are you calling in? So I'm going to bring a message here from the dragon. Um, what is it called? The dragon oracle. Um, and it's this also came out in your pre-shuffle with golden Christed angel. And I am filming on Good Friday, April 10th, but this is asking you to bring higher love so that you can embody Christ consciousness. Twin Flames, that's what our mission on this world is to do, in my opinion anyway, is to help bring down Christ consciousness, to help people walk their spiritual missions. And w one of the things I feel is most important with this is this open heart to teach the world to live with an open heart so absorb the christ light you are protected expand your heart and remain fifth dimensional throughout our relationships as well with this kind of idea of christ consciousness i don't want to butcher it so i'm going to read to you out of the book golden christed dragon Christ consciousness came up. Um, I did a, a reading for Libra for April 2020, and that was a big message of Christ consciousness coming in at this time and spreading light and spreading cheer. And this is asking you as well to embody that. The law of attraction, when we want our mate or our match or our soulmate to come to us, we need to also be shining in our Christed light to be putting out the the light, um, that vibration. And it, I feel like this is also, this is more than just about a relationship. This is about a mission on this earth. And this is about time to really celebrate um, what this path has led you to. Using your, your, this could be your life as inspiration with this inspiration card. Sorry guys, I feel like, what am I, I'm just moving through pages, what am I looking for? All that searching. Okay. 40. Um, they took me immediately down. So what the golden Christed dragons give to you, you can pass on to the others. So radiate the golden energy of the Christ to those whom you are in contact with today. This is also our mission as well. 
when we when we absorb Christ consciousness, when we call in that yellow golden ray, when we act with an open heart, and forgiveness is one of these things as well. You know, forgive me my you know forgive me my sins or my trespasses and those who've trespassed against us that idea and i'm not a biblical person guys but it's one of those things that stick this is trespasses where we all mess up we all make mistakes and if we are able to learn from them and able to harness our own divinity and learn from it and grow and change our heart this energy you are a beacon and you're a beacon of hope you're a ray of light and our energy this it starts off saying that golden christed dragons are fifth dimensional dragons with a huge golden energy fields they can access the christ light of unconditional love at a ninth dimensional frequency which is the highest facet of love energy that is available to us at this time and pour it into us at maximum level we can absorb they will come to us on our birthday or special occasions or celebrations and flood us with the cosmic gift of their special light they will also come to us if we call them some of you this is call them in then they will surround our aura with their protective golden light enabling us to remain fifth dimensional you are a light on this earth and a beacon of hope is what they're repeating to me so celebrations as well whenever they're like they're taking me they're blocking me so I'm gonna move on going to ask a message now from some tarot and the bottom one here is the orange the four of wands the celebration as well as at the bottom of the deck for some of you open you to knowledge for the new golden age carry the energy of the future future be a guiding light so you are being asked to be open to this golden energy to be open to the idea that you are chosen to spread this light that you have not just been put on this earth for you know no silly reason you are here for a very divine purpose and this in itself is celebration that it's time now to allow your soul's full incarnation and the capacity within you to thrive and to raise the vibration and to raise the roof because one um how do we save this planet how do we save humanity we raise our vibration and to do this this is not about Christ as just Jesus or no just Jesus, but this isn't about Christ in the Bible. This is about Christ consciousness. This is about walking people through ascension. And I heard gaining confidence while you do it. And that's this inner authority. Some of you may have been doing this already. let's get a little bit more tarot please spirit so what would you have anyone who's watching this far know and I do apologize for that moment of just silence and as I'm saying that we get this knight of pentacles a movement towards something stable and grounded but this is thought through and some where here it's it's interesting when soulmate comes out twice you know, for me, <laughs> what are what is being moved, or what what's the advice to move forward? I'm not reading reversals, guys. Um, so the bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords, which is a kind of communication, which is also um, I feel like she's she's choosing with this. She's holding on to here a white swan. And we have a balance here between the white and the dark. The dark swans, the light swans. And she's wearing black, but she's 
in wings of white and she has her swords and I feel like this is being protective of our thoughts as well as being balanced in communication. So moving towards something that will require someone to speak. And for some of you, this is the celebration, something you've been waiting for. Um, and I heard laying the groundwork as well. So you have here the Emperor, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Three of Swords. And I feel like there's... This was in the reverse as well, but like I said, I, I'm not reading reversals. I feel like, though, there's probably been with this some heartbreak within the connection, heartbreak within the relationship, heartbreak within your life. Whoever this, the, this person, the spiritual connection that this is regarding, more than likely, you've had many, many trials and tribulations and lifetimes together and some of this as well as I'm hearing you could have been holding on to hurt from past life but now is the time with these golden Christed angels and this orange gold dragon this entering into a time of golden age it's like living with power and positivity as well and I've been so so guided to this yellow today lately you know I feel like this is with this inner authority this is this divine masculine as well this emperor energy of really being a creator in his reality and being grounded and stable and where they put that the words this is the shadow state tarot tarot and it's really nice because they're really small um, Creating the order out of chaos. Authority, leadership, strength, establishing law and order. The emperor is a man rooted in his ways and views and regimens, but confident that this is the right structure and way of things. So as well, there is a movement here towards structure in, in this physical. And there is... First, we have to get it in our head to think about it, but I feel like, again, being protective of our thoughts, because if there's been heartbreak in the past, if there's been situations that have really hurt the dynamic of this partnership, they're in the past and they need to be heard reconciled. You have the Two of Cups here, which is, again, about partnership, and in this particular one as well to me, um... It's a real sharing of resources, sharing of, I say sharing of the heart, um, but I feel like this heart is also dangled over there. Um, the Queen of Swords as well as often, this is an air sign quality, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and sometimes this is far Farsighted is the word I'm hearing, but it's also about being sometimes a little removed or detached and as well as maybe if there's been painful situations, not openly willing to just hand the heart over. And with the King of Cups here, this is water. This is, you know, um, you guys, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Don't get caught up in those signs, though. This is an energy of what does that element mean? Air, someone who is cool and calm and collected in our thoughts, but maybe a little detached. And I feel like this being able to create chaos, sorry, order out of chaos, that this relationship itself is really important in terms of um, understanding the chaos that's been all around and making those connections. So keeping in mind, yes, your ideas your idea is divinely inspired take action accordingly into um, motion that this means to come from a very very generous place in our heart a very very um, highest vibration to be nurturing in the ways that we think and the ways that we speak as well with this queen because our queens are nurturing our queens are the higher feminine aspect. And for me as well, I feel like this is about, it's time to speak. It's time to speak about feelings. It's time to create some order here. And if 
you see again this yellow gold. If there's been places within this connection where someone is afraid to, or if there's been a push and pull on how do I give my heart because my heart's been broken, it's like this, this discussion needs to happen to mend that broken heart so that this particular, this is an entity on its own, a partnership that creates a third and a very powerful, strong energy. That I'm being asked to show you the bottom under here which is fire and water dragon enables your life to flow with loving force prepare for change and act forward quickly expect the unexpected and have fun so i'm going to pull one message from the isis oracle and i will leave you guys for the week i hope this made sense there's parts of this reading i almost wanted to just we're going to take that one stop and I felt like it was like, no, this message needs to come out. So again, I really hope that um, this this resonates because this week I feel like celebrations, right? There's so much celebrations and it comes from us being willing to speak. Goddess of a thousand names is what come up. And this is honoring your divine feminine as well with the divine masculine in connection Um this is saying, you know, there's endless emanations of the priestess. This is Isis energy. Call her in. Ask Isis to help you as well, to help you manifest your power, to help you bring down this energy into this physical, to really understand that whatever this relationship is, this is not just a um, 3D relationship. There is multiple dimensions, and there is energy being brought down through this to the, from the ninth right from the ninth dimension and you're being asked to stay in fifth to stay in high vibration to know that no matter what mess words that you may have towards calling in your divine feminine no matter what goddess we're looking at it's all one and the same and let's just pull a quick message so i don't miss anything it's been a while since i pulled these cards I'm going to hold it up for you. Isis is with many names, forms, associations, and expressions is referred to as the goddess of 10,000 names. A name holds power. It defines and energizes or limits. The faces, the names, faces, and roles that you play are just one of your being, yet you exist beyond them. And beloved initiate, the vast being you are, currently realizing that you are not limited by previous identities you held. Instead, you are becoming more your whole self. Enjoy the uncovering of you even more. And just like Lady Isis, you are multifaceted, multidimensional beings. It is most helpful at this phase in your path that you learn not to attach to roles or identities that may have once held great importance for you or others relating to you. It does not mean that you must cease to relate to that name or role, more that you are realizing it is only part of who you are and is even more than you are wishing to express right now. So it also indicates that there is a spiritual name waiting for you on inner planes. The name may come from various spiritual traditions as a name of a deity or sacred mantra, or it could be an actual name that you can sound out and use in meditation or sacred temple activities with spiritual groups. The name also may simply be a note, an inner awareness of sound. And it can be sourced by going into your heart, almost felt more than heard or spoken. The name is coming to you to help you deeper your connection with yourself. I feel like, and it says, like any other identity, it's just a representation for a time. You don't need to pack up your old life in search of a new, entirely new one. But I feel like what's going to happen is that all of you, that's all of you. And then whatever this celebration is, whatever this energy is now, that you're being asked to be you, to still be you, but to see on many ne different levels how much more you are than maybe you've been led to believe. So staying, staying in high vibration and creating order out of chaos. So that's what I have for you this week. I hope it made sense, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.